children how are you hope you all are fine did you watch the earlier lesson on peshik yes you watched it and enjoyed a lot in that lesson i have assigned you some task that is speaking on a bravery incident did you do that yes i think you did it well now children similar to those videos a boy became bold in our next lesson let us see how the boy became bold are you ready children yes of course you are always ready to learn i know let us watch the video here we go One day Swami's father read a news article it gave a detailed account of the boy's fight with a tiger it also described how the boy flew up a tree where he stayed half a day at last some people came that way and killed the tiger then he thought that it is the right time to make his son sleep alone to become bold swami here is a news article about a brave boy in a big forest he faced a tiger while he was going through the jungle path there came a tiger face to face then he brilliantly thought for a while and flew up a tree How dare the boy was? What do you say, Swami? He might not be a child. I think he must have been a very strong and grown-up person, not a boy at all. How could a boy fight a tiger, Dad? You think you know better than the newspaper? A man may have the strength of an elephant and yet be coward. Another may be a mere skeleton, but if he has real courage, he can do anything. Courage is everything. Strength and age don't matter much. Suppose I had a lot of courage, but what could I do if a tiger attacked? Can you prove you have courage? Let me see if you can sleep alone tonight in my office room. Dad, are you joking? No, I am not joking. I am serious. Hereafter, you must sleep alone. You are now in the fifth standard, and I don't like the way you are being brought up. Today, you have to sleep in my office. That's all. Your office room is very dusty, and there may be scorpions behind your law books, Dad. There are no scorpions, my boy. You can sleep on the bench if you like. Can I have lamp burning in the room? No, you must learn to be brave. You must not be afraid of darkness. It is only a question of habit. Will you at least leave the door open? All right. But promise, you want to roll up your bed and go to your granny's side at night. If you do it, I'll tell your teacher and make you the laughing stock of the whole school. He was surprised and terrified and he cursed his father Children 
think what might have happened in the night whether swami slept alone or not if you were swami would you like to sleep alone now let us see what happened that night Swami went to office room and spread his bed on the bench. He crouched there. Now and then he felt tense and shivered. He covered himself with the blanket. Under the blanket he shivered with tense. Then he looked either sides. And get down the bench. and now children think where did he go did he go to his granny now let's see what happened then Swami returned again and he spread his bed under the bench this time Now his mind is working he thought of the presence of the ghosts and he had some bad dreams After some time he unknowingly fell asleep At the midnight time he pulled off his blanket he opened his eyes a little and searched for his granny but he only touched the wooden leg of the bench at once his lonely state came back to him he shook in fear and closed his eyes he heard a little rustling noise in the room children let's think what did swami dream of have you heard the song what do you think it might be now let's see what was the song actually
but Swami thought that it might be the ghost. Now children think what happened then do you think he cried is it really a ghost let's see what happened actually what can this be something is moving in the darkness is that the devil why does it come now here is it going to kill me it will soon pull me out and tear me to pieces so what is the use of waiting As it came nearer, Swami crawled out from under the bench. At once, he clutched its leg and dug his teeth in. Everyone in the house was awakened by the loud noise. In a moment, father and a servant came running with a light. Both of them fell on the burglar. who lay admixed the furniture with the bleeding knee and then you can understand what would have happened the next day what was the news about read by swami's father The news was about a brave boy who fought with a tiger. Did Swami accept the news? Why? No, he did not accept the news. He thought that the person who fought with the tiger was not a boy. Where does Swami sleep daily? He sleeps with his grandmother daily. Why did Swami go early to sleep? Swami went early to bed to escape from sleeping alone. Where did Swami sleep that day? He slept under the bench of his father's office room. Why did Swami wake up in the middle of the sleep? The sounds made by the thief woke Swami up. What was the bravery act in the story? Instead of waiting he dared to clutch the leg of the ghost and duck his teeth in What do you do if your father asks you to sleep alone at night If my father asks me to sleep alone I will do it because I am a brave child Children For some questions your answers may be different. Don't worry about that. You can discuss with your teacher all about the story and the questions. Mm-hmm. 
Now children, let us watch another video that will help you while reading the text reading A that is a hero. Here we go. Now children, have a look at this video that will tell you about the information of the writer R.K. Narayan. This music from Malguri days makes us nostalgic. It reminds us of our childhood days when we used to read as well as watch the famous fiction on the South Indian town of Malguri penned by renowned Indian novelist R.K. Narayan. Rasipuram Krishna Swami Ayer Narayan Swami or R.K. Narayan is one of the most famous and widely read Indian novelists. His stories were grounded in a compassionate humanism and celebrated the humor and energy of ordinary life. R.K. Narayan began his writing career with Swami and friends in 1935. Most of his works, including Swami and Friends, is set in the fictional town of Malwadi, which captures everything Indian while having a unique identity of its own. R.K. Narayan's writing style was marked by simplicity and subtle humor. He told stories of ordinary people trying to live their simple lives in a changing world. R.K. Narayan's famous works include The Bachelor of Arts, The Dark Room, The English Teacher, The Financial Expert, The Guide, The Man Eater of Malwadi, The Vendor of Sweets, A Malwadi Days, and the grandmother's tale. R.K. Narayan won numerous awards and honors for his works. He was felicitated with Sahitya Academy Award for The Guide, Padma Bhushan and A.C. Benson Medal by the Royal Society of Literature in 1980. R.K. Narayan was elected an honorary member of the American Academy and Institute of Arts and Letters in 1982. He was nominated to the Rajya Sabha in 1989. Besides, he was also conferred honorary doctorates by the University of Mysore, Delhi University and the University of Leeds. Though the famous novelist has left for heavenly abode on 13 May 2001, his writings will keep him a model among the fiction lovers.
Now children, let us watch a video clip that will show you how to read individually in your classroom. When your teacher asks you to read individually, you have to do the same thing. Now children, here is another video clip that will show you how children collaboratively read a text. After doing this, you have to do the same thing. Here we go. Children, when you read a text, you will come across some new words that you don't know. How did you know the meaning of that word? Yes, with the help of the dictionary or with the help of your friends or with the help of your teacher, you will come to know the meaning of the particular word. Now children, here are some children looking up a dictionary for new words meanings. Let us have a look at that. Yeah, children, we came to an end of this lesson today. How is the lesson, children? You have to read the chunk that is assigned by your teacher. Okay, children, take care. Bye.